Right, well, Thanksgiving is winding down, so I have to ask you, Chris, sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie? I feel like there's a wrong answer here. <laughs> there's no wrong okay. answer. Whatever you like. I love sweet potato pie, but I think I got to pick pumpkin pie. Really? Yeah. So I've never cream. had pumpkin pie. Ever? Ever. But I love sweet potato pie, so I can't really compare them, but you we do sweet it. potato pie in my house. So. I love sweet potato pie. It's great. <laughs> but <laughs> can we eat that with the weather tonight? Yeah. Like, it's like little, I think, listen, leftover turkey sandwich mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, some comfort food, maybe heat it up a little mac bit. Mac and though. cheese. Mac and cheese. Baked mac and cheese where it's, you know, you got to kind of dig into it a little yeah, bit. No, yeah, it's so nice good. and cheesy and creamy. I think Thanksgiving <laughs> leftovers might be about as good as the first meal. Some comfort food next couple days help deal with the cold. Let's talk tonight. 36 degrees just out of the range of freezing. But don't worry, you got plenty of cold temperatures still to come if you're a fan. We're getting into late November and early December, I guess fitting. Uh, maybe look into a coat for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday if you need one because it is going to get cold next week. Let's talk early tomorrow morning. 40 degrees, 7 a.m., partly cloudy skies. That'll stick with us most of the day, adding a few more clouds back into the mix. We're mid-40s by 9 and 49 by 10. Uh, we stay dry all day tomorrow. So if you're out and about showing the family around town, uh, it'll be really nice. Future cast 11 p.m. overnight and into Friday morning. We'll time all this out. You can see some of those clouds starting to work their way in. You got to look close. At first, we're sunny. Winds out of the northwest. That'll keep us cooler. High temperatures in the low 50s. Not bad for this time of year seasonable. The coldest air arrives overnight Friday into Saturday. That's where we'll dip back below freezing. And early Saturday morning starts off with some clouds. Winds out of the north. Temperatures never really have a chance to warm up here much. We're talking mid 40s for highs. It'll be the coldest out of the next three by a good margin. Uh, starting to warm up a little bit more on Sunday. Until we get there, it's clear skies again on Saturday night. Bottom line, a dry stretch as we head into early Sunday morning. We'll stick that way dry through most of the weekend until we get to late Sunday night and Monday. That's our next bigger weather maker. So some cold air is on the way and not only in the seven day forecast, just beyond that. This is the six to 10 day outlook, which has Baltimore in the blue. Most of Maryland, uh, that's a good sign that we have an above average chance to be colder than average for that time of year. So it's not necessarily a testament to how cold we're going to get, but that there's a uh, increasing confidence that below average air makes its way in by then. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. We'll go 50s Friday, 40s for the weekend. And where we start to warm up a little bit on Monday, we fall right back off by midweek next week from 51 to 27. Temperatures drop fast. Low, mid, upper 40s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mainly sunny skies. Uh, that'll be cool for this time of year. Again, looks to stick around through the end of next week and into the weekend. Mostly dry for the week ahead. Again, one more note, Sunday night late into Monday morning. We'll get some showers in place, but they're out of here to start early next week. Brittany.